Oh, sh what time is it? It's time for the Royal Goobs. Hi, welcome back to Royal Goobs. Welcome back, man. I did it. I did it. I did it. Hooray. Yeah, you get a gold did, star. Did I ever say that Jen is actually the the master crafter behind our name? What the heck? Sorry. Did I tell you about that? <laughs> um, e yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to think of names. We we weren't, like, you and I weren't together at this, like, right at this moment. Um, yeah, you were with Jen. I was with Jen, and I was just like, huh, I wonder if we call it something like, have, like, Regal, Royal, something like that, since I was King Cletus. I am King Cletus, right? Yeah. Um, And I was like, huh, I, I don't know. And then... She's like, you always say goober all the time. Why, why don't you be the royal goobs, the royal goobers? And I was like, whoa, the royal goobs. That sounds good. I was like, all right, dude. I like that. We're a bunch of goobers. Um, anyways, so I was going to tell the story behind working at a theater and enlighten you all. By the way, every list I've ever seen ranks working at a theater as ass territory. It's like in the top 10 worst fucking jobs. It sucks. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's probably my least favorite. It was my least favorite job, not because like the work itself was awful, but more because of like the people the at people my theater. Oh, yeah, you told me that. But, dude, no, the customers. Let me tell you why and let me tell you the story. Okay, so people at the movies are just pissed off. And I know you might be like, I go to the movies, I'm not pissed off. Sure, but you're not a Karen, okay? There's always a Karen who shows up. A Karen? Or, yeah, Karen. You know the meme, Karen, the angry woman? No, Can I, I don't. see your manager? Karen. Jeez. Oh, Anyways, okay. um, it, it's a meme. It's like the angry lady with like the short haircut, you know, whatever. Don't worry, the, you know. So, uh, people are late to their movie, so they're <laughs> pissed off. They ask to buy popcorn, and it's like $8 for a large, and they get pissed off, you know? Uh, Just get pissed about every single thing. Like, the movie theater is not the greatest experience ever. Everything's so expensive, you know, if you're late, you don't get good seats. It's stressful if you have kids. I get it. But, uh, that doesn't give you an excuse to be a total dingus when you're acting, or like, interacting with the people who work there. Is, is this, I feel like you, you may have already told this story. I think when we were playing Banjo-Tooie. Oh. But, uh, but you know, go ahead and start, and then I'll stop you okay, if you well, have. Tell you what, I'll tell it within, like, two sentences. Okay. First night opening, a woman comes up, she's talking on the cell phone, and she barks an order at me after waiting in line for, like, 40 minutes, because it's opening night. She says, I want, like, six different sodas, six or eight sodas, and she's like... I want one Dr. Pepper, one Coke, one half orange, and a Dr. Pib. I want three or three more diet sprites, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, I start getting them ready. Halfway through, I'm like, sorry, ma'am, could you repeat the last three sodas? She just flips out on me. She like puts her phone down and she's like, are you kidding me? You can't remember that, blah, 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 blah. My manager had to like step in and she's like, excuse me, ma'am, if you can't treat our, you know, cut or our employees with respect, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. And she's just screaming and cussing and stuff. Um, Jeez. Because I couldn't remember six or seven sodas that were like half and half. Um, God. So yeah, she was like screaming and pissed off. And, uh, yep. Hot damn. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was not great. So what? I, what was the movie that was opening? I don't know. That that would have been like when Pacific Rim came out. And oh yeah. I don't know. Was this like 2013 summer? Probably. Yeah, that that, that that's about the time Pacific Rim came out. Yeah. It was right before that. I don't. I don't know. This was our soft opening. It was the first time the theater had opened. I worked at a brand new theater. This oh. was the first time. So the lines were out the doors, and that's why it was actually forty minutes for concessions. So Damn. people were pissed. I understand why, but this lady was just like, "How do you not remember that? She like you moron, blah blah blah." She had a cactus up her vagina. She was pissed as hell, but she was also ordering while on the phone. She was like late, and yeah, she was just mad. Yeah. Uh, damn. Is so yeah, that sucked. I was like 19 years old. It was, it was shit. Um, well, so. you've you've come you've come far, and you're in a job that you like now. Yep. Yeah. No, I love my job. Uh, it's awesome. I don't have to deal with any Karens <laughs> <laughs> or the equivalent. I don't know what you'd name them. Uh, Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, dude. I I've met a couple Lawrence. Uh, dude, Lawrence! Dude named Lawrence. That's, or, a, that's a Ratchet and Clank reference for those of you who don't know. Yeah. Lawrence! Oh. I am uh, Dr. Nefarious. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence. Lance. Lance? Lance. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess Lawrence is a very British name. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lance. I meant, sorry. In my mind, I was like, yeah, his name is Lawrence. I'm like, no, it wasn't. It was Lance. Yeah, I've met a few Lances who are uh, 
A plus. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's the equivalent. All right. H had I told that story already? Uh, so you, you ah, get there. Maybe. So, something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll look back at the Banjo Tooie episode and see if it's if it's the yeah, same or not. But oh, whatever, whatever. That's all I have to say. If you have the opportunity to work somewhere that's not a theater, please do. Like whenever you're working with food, people get mad too because you know they're gonna ingest it. It's, it's mm. gross when people are touching your food, so you don't want them to do anything gnarly. Ah, dang it. Uh, what well, you were gonna tell a story, weren't you? Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about something unrelated. Oh, kind, kind of I'm unrelated. done with theater. <laughs> don't work at a theater if you get the chance not to. Okay, so um, I would have liked to have talked about this earlier this summer, but uh, we weren't recording Royal Goobs at the time, yeah. so I guess this is my way to catch up on it. Uh, okay, so Elliot, I don't think you saw this, uh, the new Lion King movie. No. It sucked. Yeah. I did not like it. Did you like the Aladdin movie at all? Uh, the Aladdin one was... Yeah. Crash, right? Yes, go for it. Oh, wait, you talked about the Aladdin movie, I think. Did I on Royal Goobs? I think so. Yeah, I, I I thought the Aladdin one was decent. The new Lion King, though. Uh, oh, my God. I did not like it. It was just... It, they Poppycock. just... Poppycock. They just, like, copied and pasted the original movie and just did it worse. Okay. It, it was like the dead... It was like watching the reanimated dead corpse of a previous Husk movie. Husk of the former glory. Yeah, and just... Uh, it was not good. I... I <laughs> Wait, I can't see. Oh god, I, I, I can't see. What the hell? You can't see? No, I, it was just like it was really hard to see. Like tell what what I was looking at. Um, it, it was did a. Did you jump on this? Did you just die? How did I die there? It, the, the jumping's really weird with the running shell. It's okay. sometimes if you. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. They. I'm thinking if they ever remaster this game, they they should fix it. But I. It, it was definitely one of the most cringy uh, movie-going experiences oh, yeah. in recent memory. Damn. Uh, during the... Can you feel it now today? Yeah, Elton Jan. My, I had my hand on my face the entire really? time. I was like, oh my god, Why? this is so awful. I don't know. I always thought that scene was cringy in the original Lion King, and but then just seeing it again, but even worse, was like even more cringy. <laughs> oh, balls! <laughs> Ugh. I just, I just did not like it. The, okay, the only thing, good thing about it though, Timon and Pumbaa. Yeah. They were the uh, the only highlight of the movie. Wasn't one of them? Uh, Seth Rogen. Yeah. But Seth. No, Seth. I was thinking of uh, Eric Andre. Uh, well, Eric Andre played one of the hyenas, but uh, yeah, Billy Eichner played Timon. I, I, I don't know very much about who Billy Eichner is though, but uh. Okay, he and Timon, Timon and Pumbaa were, were actually pretty good. Okay. They, they were, like, the only funny part of the movie. Like, they actually switched up, like, their dialogue a little bit. They, it wasn't... Everything, aside from Timon and Pumbaa, was almost exactly the same. Okay. From the old movie, and it's just... I'm just getting tired of the live-action Disney remake. Shit! They, they, just, they just feel like they have no soul. Like... Welcome to Rodeo Cowboy. I'm gonna need you to buy a deep fried Twinkie and feed it to my little Bessie here and give her a little bit of energy. I'm gonna kick her in the booty and you're gonna run on this track, alright? Uh, yeah, what you just said. <laughs> Jen, did you see the new Lion King? Oh, she has her ear canceling headphones in. Oh, does she? Probably she didn't respond. Hey to me. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jen, did you see the new Lion King movie? Good. Don't see it. It sucked. <laughs> Suck a big chunkers. Mm. Big old fatty penis. Uh, oh, what the fuck? God dang. <gasps> God dang. Yeah, that's first. Speaking hard. of God dang, dude, I saw a Netflix original movie with Adam Sandler and oh. Ashton Kutcher, I think, and a bunch of people actually. Terry Crews was in it. Um, shit, it was funny though. Uh, the Hateful Eight. No, no, no. Sorry, not the, hate, <laughs> the sorry. Hateful no, Eight. No, no, no. It was a play. It was a play on that title, the the Outrageous Six or something like that. Really? Yeah. Huh. It was like a western. And it was pretty goofy. Well, was it actually good? Because I, I I have my reservations okay. with Adam Sandler movies. I liked it. Nice. Oh, okay. I was like. Did I fuck this up? Nice job, dude. Yeah, baby! 
I liked it, but it was like Napoleon Dynamite kind of dumb humor. Dumb. Good. Yeah, but Napoleon Dynamite. Alright, pause that bitch. Next time on Rogue.